What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here. Welcome back to part two of the cabin build. I've already got my stuff over here today. It's still kind of breezy out here. Y'all, sorry about the wind noise. Nothing I can do about it. But it feels so good. Alright, so today I want to be working on the little yard here. I want to dismantle all of this. I want to take it all down. So first thing I need to do is clear out these weeds. It's like all those stick weeds. Those weeds are taller than I am. Not that I'm that tall, but these weeds are plentiful. So I got my wheelbarrow here. I'm going to just start hacking away at this mess and clearing it out. I also want to take down the fencing there. There's some um, bird fencing there. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep these landscape timbers here or not. Most likely I am. If they're good. If they're rotten, then I got to get rid of them. Alright. First thing I got to do is move that door out of the way. I put that in there just to keep, try and keep animals from getting in there and getting inside the coop itself. But now it's time to clear this thing out. This is going to take a while. I'm not going to bore you guys with all of this, but I'm going to get this, try and get all, I'm going to try and get this whole thing cleared out today. Be back in a minute. Okay, y'all. Whew. That was a job. I got all those weeds cleared out and second wheelbarrow full. Whew. That was a job. Thank goodness it's getting a little cooler right now, so thankful for that. All right, so my next step that I need to do is I'm going to take the sledgehammer. Let me, let me show you. So there's a board on the outside here between those two. There's a board there. There's one there. I already broke off the one here and got rid of it. But I have to remove these boards before I can pick up this hog panel. Show you the hog panel. That's the hog panel and it's over the top of these. So I lifted that panel up and went in between one of the holes down one of these posts here. So once I get those boards out of my way, then I can get this hog panel up. No easy feet. So that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Now I just need to get these things up out of the way and continue on Whew. okay I've got all the boards down now I'm just removing the the lower section of that you probably cannot see it on camera but there's a lower section like the first two feet from the ground up here is a wire mesh that I got I'm taking that off and then hopefully 
without needing to mow this grass. Hopefully I can pull those hog panels up. It's a good thing this grass is dead. It'll make it a whole lot easier. But I'm going to finish rimping that fence off. Oh, might be able to pull that, that section up there because I already got rid of the posts. They were rotten. So since they're rotten, the ones that are rotten, I'm going to have to kick them down, get rid of them, and put in new ones. But ugh, wish me luck on this hog panel, y'all. This would be so much easier if my truck was running. I just take the hitch, hook it up to that thing, and just snatch it up. But nope, gotta do this by hand. But it's a good workout, very good workout. I don't know how many more hog panels are in there, but oh, it's getting there slowly. Oh, so slowly. So another reason why I need to get these hog panels up, there's a section somewhere that keeps getting caught on my riding lawnmower when I cut this grass. It gets caught on the deck, and it just makes my lawnmower do a sideways thing like that when I hit it. it's like hitting a brick wall so that is the only reason why I'm pulling up these hog panels otherwise I would have just left them down there but oh well it is what it is my chickens were very safe in this enclosure and when I got home for work I would let them out to let them free roam and they went back into the coop by themselves at sundown so it was really good because they were safe while at night and while I was at work. And then during the day, they had, they had this run, which I had all kinds of things for them to peck at in there. 
and um, then at night or in the afternoon I would let them out and they would eat bugs and all natural diet so my chickens were pretty happy I must believe that they were all right that was my little rest my little rant while I rested moving on let me see if any more of these first I'm gonna check and see if any more of these posts are rotten because if I can just knock those down it would make pulling up that panel even easier so I'm gonna do that first I didn't have them buried that deep, so that's a good thing. Okay, there's one more post. One more post right over there. Oh, man. I did it y'all I did it holy moly that was tough I'm not gonna tell you that was easy at all I'm huffing and puffing and sweating up a storm okay so got huge heaps huge mounds that's a pretty good sized mound the camera flattens everything out but that's that's about a foot tall right there that patch there and it's a big clump right there so I'm gonna take my push mower and I think what I want to do is um, I'm gonna mow this with my push mower I'm not gonna use my riding mower I'm gonna use my push mower on this mulch this stuff up I might need to rake it up and get rid of it because there's so much of it all this dead grass and stuff and um, once I'm done with this project build, I'm going to get rid of all this stuff here. Got the hog panels over there. Got one there that's all gnarled and twisted up. Not going to be able to reuse that one. Those two, maybe, for whatever. I don't know. I don't even have a, um, a use for these hog panels anymore. So, But anyway, yeah. I'm going to call this a successful day. Day two of the cabin build. Almost complete. Once I mow this, it'll be complete. Um, let me go get my mower. Thinking to myself, I'm surprised there weren't any snakes in here, but I did see this lizard. That cute little redhead on him. It's about... About six inches long. Almost ran over it with the lawnmower. I don't want to do that. I like the wildlife. Oh, let me show you something else. It's also found two of those. That's those. Uh, some people. Where that lizard go? Some people call them banana spiders, and some people call them garden. I just call it a garden spider. They're black, white, and yellow. That's what laid that thing, so I'm going to leave that there. I might move it to a better spot that won't get damaged and stuff, because I do kind of like the, the spiders, too. I just leave them alone. Let them do their thing. I'm do the same with this lizard. Let them do his thing. Whew, a lot of work went into today. So, got this all mowed up. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Wow. What a major difference. It's been years. Years that that's been there. Years. It's been there three or four years, I believe. It's been there for a minute. So, that looks good. I'm very satisfied with that. So... 
have to dump I have to dump that wheelbarrow. Oh, I keep saying wheelbarrow. 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 Alright, I have to dump that thing. Whatever. Um so I still need to mow this grass here. I haven't mowed this grass here in a while. It's still clumpy and and needs mowing. But I didn't have my respirator on today. I just tucked my face inside my shirt. I know that's not the same, but so let's step inside here. All right, so oh, pretty darn cool. So I think what I want to do is spray down these walls and maybe wash them, kind of, sort of. And uh, I need to go around with maybe some spray foam to seal off the cracks and crevices and things where things can possibly get in. I don't want wasp in here. I, I really want to try and keep the wasp out. So I'm going to try my hardest to seal off all these cracks that I can. Um, I think... See, what I was going to do, what I wanted to do was put a window in on this side. But if I do that, the sun sets on that side. So that's west. And that sun blazing in here, it might get really, really hot. But I have this side. I have this side. It's already framed out for a window. So I think I'm going to put the window on this side. So when the sun rises, get the morning sun. And I just got to decide where to put stuff. Like, where do I put my bunks? Am I going to have bunks in here? Chairs? Who knows? I don't know. We'll see. I guess we're going to see how that develops. So, yeah, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and I need to get some cans of that spray foam or some screening and... Uh, Seal off all, seal off, get some, gosh, did y'all see me? I couldn't tell if I had my face, I set the tripod on the ground. But anyway, um, screening, I want to get some screening and put on this side here, along this top. That piece, those pieces there, oh, they are screwed in. I did screw them in. I didn't think I screwed them in, but they are. I need to put some screen up there because that's a big crack right there. Stuff can get in. I need to get some spray foam, some caulking, and start on that first. And then after that, I got to decide what to do for the floor in here. I want to do something for the flooring. I want to do something, something that won't hold moisture so no rugs or anything like that maybe some astroturf or something I don't know I'll have to figure that out I get some cheap outdoor carpeting to put in there maybe we'll see but that's what I'll be doing in the next episode and then after I fill in those cracks and things I'll put the siding back up I'm leaving it open right now so I can see I can see really well right now, so I'm going to leave that opening, the openings up for now. Just for now. I mean, I'm going to leave those openings open for now. I'm so tired, I can't even think or speak straight. Okay. I want to end this video right here. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.